And now let us close it out with xenon F2 difluoride. We have eight electrons from xenon. F brings uh, seven, so two times seven is 14. We have a total of 22 electrons. So xenon is going to look like F, it's going to be F, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think if you do the electron count, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Yes, so what we have is a Lewis structure that is F, F. We have five objects around xenon. Five objects around xenon. Five objects is S, P, nope. Five objects is D, S, P3, three, four, five, three Ps, one S, one D, gives me that kind of hybridization. My fluorine, well, the fluorine just has single bonds, and it is four objects, so my fluorines are SP3 hybridized. One of the DSP3, uh, let's look at this bond over here. A DSP3 hybrid orbital on xenon is interacting, interacting, with an sp3 orbital on fluorine to form a sigma bond. That's this sig single sigma bond, okay? The, uh, another, this is the same thing on this side, a d uh, sp3 on xenon is interacting with an sp3 on fluorine for this single bond. The lone pairs on fluorine occupy the other sp3 hybrid orbitals on fluorine and the three lone pairs on xenon occupy the last three DSP3 hybrid orbitals on the xenon atom. So that's it. Um, it's just a question of how many objects you have around a central atom. The number of objects will actually tell you what kind of hybridization you have. If you have four objects in single bond, SP3. If you have um, a double bond anywhere, it's sp2 automatically. If you have a triple bond, it's sp hybridization. If you have five objects, it's dsp3. And if you have six objects, it's d2 sp3. Everything else is just little, little bits of details that we definitely don't want to get into here because I think it will complicate the matter. But I absolutely encourage you to take a look at this chapter to make sure you have those little bit of details. But what I've presented here is really all that you need to know about hybridization and atomic orbitals and molecular geometry. So thank you for joining us here at educator.com. And we'll see each other again. And we're going to start practicing for the AP exam. Take care. Bye-bye.